Yeah, I think it was exciting. Um, when you talk about young guys, you know, it's talk about quarterbacks first. And uh, I thought both Tyler and Jake uh, did a good job. They both moved the ball well when they're in there. Tyler was uh, 10 for 15 for 114 in a touchdown, and Jake 15 for 19, 188 in a touchdown. They both really made really nice throws. So it's going to be fun to continue to watch those guys battle it out. Well, I think we've got a great staff, you know, and, uh, you know, what we wanted to see in, in the first scrimmage is we want to see the, the run defense make a big improvement. That's, you know, going to be a battle of wills. Offense, we want to run the ball better. Defense, we want to stop the run. So someone's always going to be upset on every play. But I, but I, I thought our ones did a really nice job uh, stopping the run. Cheney had a long touchdown run. He, he had 52 yards total and a touchdown, most of that coming on one play. Um, I thought more often than not, though, the defensive line did a nice job controlling the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, we didn't want to give too much work to because we know what he can do, but, you know, but had two for 75 and a touchdown and just it looked like he was picking up right where he left off a year ago on, on an explosive play. Restrepo, nine for 144 and two touchdowns. He's just, he's willing himself into becoming a guy and he's, he's got such great competitive spirit. Uh, and, he, and those are not easy yards normally. He's making tough catches and run after catches and breaking tackles. Corey Flagg has really uh, continued to make strides. Um, and the guy that is slowly getting better and better is Avery Huff, you know, and, and he made a nice job to play it today on a screen and just and just seeing the game better and better. Um, and then beyond that, you know, Chase Smith had an interception today. How cool for him. Uh, he's doing a really nice job of just acclimating to, to college football. Levante Williams had an interception as well. So good to see two, a couple of young guys make some plays with the ball in the air. Speaking of Levante, how do you think the secondary looked overall? I, you know, again, for the um, – Number one, just leveraging the football, not giving up explosive plays. I think I think we were solid on that. You know, um, uh, you can see the, the, the addition that Tyreek Stevenson has made uh, to our defense, standing out not just in pass coverage but uh, run support and, and and making good tackles. So uh, so again, you know, I mean, there's there's always going to be good and bad of every position group uh, in the scrimmage. But uh, but I was pleased with how they played. Yeah, you know, we uh, we ran three different punts groups through there today and three different kickoff return groups through there. Obviously, we're trying to find a punt returner, uh, kickoff returner. we got all those jobs open. So this is today is a situation where we can put people around them and make them catch balls under pressure. Um, but it was fun to have Andres make about a maybe 42-yarder or whatever it was to, to, to close out practice at the end of a, of a one-minute drill situation. Uh, lastly, what, what do you uh, what do you take away from this first scrimmage? Well, I mean, look, we want to keep things simple in scrimmage one. There wasn't a lot of scheme, you know, going against each other. I mean, I mean, it's about blocking, getting off blocks, tackling, breaking tackles, catching, disrupting. So um, we'll advance now into some more situational stuff as we get into the, 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 the second part of spring practice. Um, what I'd like to see today, though, is I, I thought the team played hard. I thought they played for each other. And you want to see the identity of an offense and a defense start to grow on these Saturdays. And I thought we did a good job of that.